Hi there, I'm Adam Kiros, and this is my story, Happy All Too Happy. <clears throat> I didn't make much friends in school. People who observe, who merely observe, do not make many friends. They are far away, distant. They sit in the back row. I was not even no test. I was just a nobody in school. And I did not really care. I didn't want to make friends. Still, maybe because I saw through people, because I saw their masks, their cravings. Maybe this was the reason why I don't want to be around them. It was not that I didn't like them. But somehow it felt more secure and more comfortable to look at the at the people from a distance like you would be a normal observer like you would be just watching watching how everything unfolds and asking yourself what for i mean i did not have any any personal friends for that matter and it is of course difficult if you think yourself as different, if you think somehow or even perceive that other people tick differently than you. I somehow, I somehow, I somehow went through puberty without even having a girlfriend. Again, I was not interested in women. Of course, in school we had sexual education our teacher was somehow em embarrassed and she handed out flyers for us to read in silence so that we learn more about sexuality so that we learn more about sexual intercourse yet i looked at these pictures about women of women's vaginized about sexual intercourse and they were all alien to me. I would not say that I was asexual. I had a healthy drive. I think at that age my mind wasn't ready for sex. My mind was still preoccupied with the world and of, of course this all seemed alien. I mean I, I had issues with growing up and then sexuality was too too painstaking it was too too abstract it was too far away distant i could not do anything of it i could not under, understand it people were only talking about that when i was in school everyone was talking about having a girlfriend being around girls, women, boys who couldn't talk about anything else than being with a girl. I heard them that they somehow that women, sex and everything this is it and everything that's part of it became somehow very imp important like the world is is circling around it. I somehow fell back. I reached adulthood without knowing what to do with myself. I was like many, many of those stranded in my generation. People who finished school, who were promised they could become everything they want, who were promised that they only have to put in the effort and they can become successful everything they wish for and here we are and there we were a generation a generation of of young people who somehow thought that that success was only waiting for them somehow we all felt in in titled so that we would some way, some, some time, be, be 
this person everyone was waiting for. We thought about ourselves that we were the best things, the best generation who has ever lived. We thought that outside the world that they will they will be all more than happy to have us. They will be all the they will all ap ap appreciate us us because we are the the generation who knows the most who is the more sophisticated and who are ex ex experts in their fields. We thought that since people are waiting for us, we only have to go there and do do what people asked us to do what how normal life would be. I got my first job from my father. It was a sales person. This came by a surprise. My father was very proud of it. He thought that he he and he alone got me the job. He knew the man. At least he thought he knew him, John Thomas. And and he offered me a, a sales job. Later I found out that John Thomas had sexual intercourse with my mom and he somehow felt guilty. And he he some sort of became friends with my dad and for that reason he gave me the job. This is at least what I read in the newspapers. The newspapers portrayed John Thomas as a hero as a and made him human human who give a, who gave a monster like me a chance an opportunity John Thomas who did human who gave this monster a human opportunity John Thomas who is who is the save of humanity this is at least what I wrote, read in some newspapers who were reporting about my case. And I thrived in, in sales. I had an natural ability. Well, as my as one of my sales colleague colleagues described it. When he starts talking, he at first is stammering. It takes time for him to find his rhythm, but once he has it, he is unstoppable. He can sell you shit as gold. Sale was actually pretty much easy for me, since I could see through people, since I understood what they are craving for. I sometimes even felt that I'm overpaid because most of the time I would just talk about things would cox people that they can enhance their mask masks when they buy this, when they buy that, when the, so that they become a whole new human. I was very successful as a sales person, best seller five years in a row. I was a legend in that company. The company board even wanted to promote me, give me more responsibility, but I rejected. I did not feel comfortable being the being the superior of people. This meant not more I was not afraid of responsible responsibility, no I was afraid that I would have to surround myself with people, people who are close to me, people who could read my thoughts, people who could know what, how my mind works. I was sufficient. I had everything I wanted. I had an old office. I had accomplished more than my father and I was very content with myself. 
the, the world, the, my world was like, was like, was like a new, a new thriving and for me, double, colorful world. And I was just happy that I came so far. I did not care what's beyond. I did not have any curiosity. I was just an ordinary, normal guy. This is how I wanted to be perceived. Maybe this is why I became suspicious to success. However, I was so successful that people knew me. They immediately recognized me. And of course, everyone would ask me where I was living. My private life became more and more the, the center of all attention. People wanted to know how I do it, how I became so successful. What is my secret? They wanted to be a legend like me. They wanted to be this great sales, sales person. And I, in increasingly was followed by people who wanted to be around me, who, who didn't want to miss any, any opportunity, who didn't want to miss any opportunity to learn from the best. <clears throat> so I, I had to present myself as an ordinary person. I had to have an ordinary home, ordinary furniture, surrounded by ordinary suburban people. So I went out, bought myself an ordinary home in a beautiful suburban area. Not because I love the suburbans, no. I just thought this is what everyone expects to me. This is what p people would associate with my ma mask. I had an ordinary garden. I paid a gardener and I and I furnished my home from an from an in, in, interior design catalogue. I did not have much interest in in furniture. I didn't have much interest in in furnishing my home. I didn't feel I didn't feel any thrill doing it. I just opened a catalogue and I filled my home, my home with, with furnitures I found in this catalogue, which I assumed people expect me to have so that I would not raise attention, so that people would not see me as different, as alien, and, and, they, and this would enable me to to wear down all the guards and be more like Kabul. I understood early, and I think this is one of the great <coughs> skills you need to have in my generation. This was adaptability, and adaptability meant that you are, that you pretend that you are not better, that you know better than anyone else. And this starts with your clothes, permits your home, so that in, in your four walls you are surrounded and reminded to the mask, so that you can always be in character, so that in your private life, in your home, you can practice to be, to be in character, this person. So you never wear off your mask, still keep keep wearing it. This is what success is made of, that you sacrifice your own life for something you think is, is worth pursuing. And your home becomes some, some sort of a shrine, shrine where maybe someone lived or lived not where maybe some people had thoughts, thoughts or had not, so that your home becomes